What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we are going to take a look at this super cool J-Feather Micro. This has so many really interesting elements that they've added to it, and a lot of things that you may not expect, especially for the price, plus one of the coolest floor plans I've seen for such a compact travel trailer. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, before we get too much further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this J-Feather is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,995 pounds, easily half ton towable, plus a 4,400 pound single axle. It is a torsion axle, which is also cool. It has 16 inch E-rated tires and it has an 835 pound cargo capacity. So here's gonna be the outside of your water heater, and then you're gonna have a locked pass-through storage on this side. I'll show you the other side of it when we get over there. It's already prepped for a Furion side view and rear view camera system, which is really cool. And what you can see right here, which it clearly says don't step on it, these are rock sliders. So yeah, if you're taking this off-roading, it actually has rock sliders on it in case you get into some really weird angles so you don't damage the actual RV, the rocks kind of hit this. Now, I don't know how functional they are, so I don't want to claim that you can take this thing out to Moab and start, you know, rock crawling with it, but it's kind of cool to see that it has them, and if anything, it makes it kind of look cool. You have a kind of a flat slide system. It's actually inside and underneath this slide right here. It's a small slide, which it's perfect for does not have frameless windows which for something this small I don't think you really want it because you want that cross ventilation where you'd probably plan on taking this has a very very interesting setup here so it is a torsion style suspension system which you can probably see underneath here but because of Jayco's partnership with Goodyear this is actually equipped with Goodyear Wrangler tires you heard me right trail runner Wrangler tires these are truck tires, so that's kind of cool, and it's on a 16-inch, really good-looking wheel. Plus, some very nice fender skirting here. The rock guard kind of continues all the way back. You have your sewer connections here, outside shower. Then you're going to have your city water connection and your black tank flush, as well as your 30-amp connection here and your cable satellite connections there. All LED lighting. I like the diamond plate look back here, plus I like the ladder that gets you on top. Very nice ladder system. Has your Goodyear Wrangler spare tire as well on a cool carrier. This is definitely leaning more towards like that Black Series style camper, but you're gonna be surprised when you see the price on this unit. This is gonna be the outside of your refrigerator. You have a nice awning that covers most of this side. Nice flip out steps here. They're the more I'd step above. You have your city water fill right here some power and a cable connection. I wish they put a bracket for a TV out here. This is going to have your compact refrigerator inside of it. And up front here is going to be the other side of your pass-through storage. So you can see that small door over there and it opens up to a pretty good size over here. Then you have your other side view camera. This is really cool. Now this is kind of interesting as well. So first of all, you have a propane connection here so you can have a small outside grill, but then they also put a two inch receiver here. Now you're not gonna wanna tow anything with this receiver. I think it's pretty obvious, but this is essentially made so you can put virtually anything that you would want to put into a receiver, like an accessory holder, a little you know barbecue grill holder into this slot. You could even put like a little table that just connects to the side of it right here. I don't know how much use people will get with this, honestly, because, you know, receivers and the things you put inside of them typically are designed for the back. But if you get like one of those cargo carriers and you put it in here, you could have a nice little platform right here to, you know, prep things or do any type of work outside to put maybe a small generator on if you're going to have a small inverter generator, get it off the ground. So that's pretty cool. But I'd love to know in the comments what you all think you would use something like that for. Again, torsion suspension, very cool. Let's take a look inside of this very, very cool and different J-Feather Micro 166 FBS. Check that out, Asdell composite panels. Impervious to water and rot, which is super cool and a huge advantage over Luan backers, which is the wood backer that you typically see. Okay, stepping inside, the first thing I like is this very, very stiff friction hinge door. That's awesome because if you have this heavy wind, you don't have to worry about it making your door slam open or closed. Dry weight on this specific unit is 4,168 pounds. Have a nice window in the door. 
Here are your controls for your slide, awning, your lights, and your water pump and your heater. But check this out. I love the interior of this. Even for a small family, I love the interior of this. Let me show you why. A lot of cool elements to touch on. First of all, you have a good size kitchenette. It's a good size. You have a three burner cooktop. Typically you'd see like a small two burner in here, but a three burner cooktop. There is no oven in here, so keep that in mind. Lots of storage and drawers. So you have this drawer right here, and then you have this much larger drawer right here for pots and pans. You have some storage under the sink as well as below that. Reasonable size sink basin for such a small trailer, plus some good countertop space. Good spot for a coffee maker right here. You have more storage up here, and that's a good size space too. Has a compact Furion microwave. You have your Furion TV right here, which is almost directly in front of a full sofa. You heard me right, you have a full sofa in this unit that also converts into a bed. So this is a jackknife sofa, which means I pull it out this way. Check that out. Jackknife sofa included, and that's actually the table that you'd put in front so you can use it as a dinette as well. So technically you could sleep, you know, parents here, kids right here, and you even have a curtain for some privacy, which is also really nice. Moving up here, you have some really nice flip up cabinets for storage. This is gonna be a queen size bed, plenty of room, just very, very cool. And then the TV also has a hinge mechanism right here, which allows it to come out and pivot towards the bed so you can watch TV. But then you have these curtains again to close it off, which is also really nice. I love the fact that they're able to put a sofa in here. And one-handed able to convert it back to a sofa. Very, very cool. Plus, I love the cabinetry here. This all looks really nice. Nice strut arms to hold it in place. But did you see the price when I walked in? MSRP of almost $40,000, $37,018. Sale price $23,999. That is unbelievable for what you get in this unit. That is super cool. And it already has solar on board. Your Dometic air conditioning controls right there, your thermostat. And then coming into the bedroom area, reasonably small but nice medicine cabinet that they include. Down here you have a nice single sink basin. Not too much room around it, but you know, what do you expect for a relatively small travel trailer? You have a nice plastic toilet, but it's here at the end. Cornered shower. Reasonable ceiling heights in here too. You could be upwards of probably six, 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 seven and comfortably fit in the main area. Now in the shower area, your head might be inside of that skylight. You could probably be closer to the, let me see. Yeah, you probably wouldn't be too comfortable in there unless your head again is in that dome if you're over six foot tall. You have a nice shelf here. You put your towels, toiletries there, nice towel holders and it's a private bathroom with a sink inside of it, which is also nice. Not a lot of these smaller units have that. Plus you have your Furion refrigerator freezer right here. Again, it is gas electric and you have more storage, little pantry spaces. And it's not really little, it's kind of narrow, but it's incredibly deep. This is a super, super cool travel trailer. I'd love to know your thoughts on it because I think for a lot of families, especially if you have a half ton truck and you want something that's easily towable by most of them, this is gonna be like the perfect thing for them. And then check this out. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. You have these really cool ottomans with storage so you can store even more in there, kind of a wardrobe space. You have more space underneath the bed. So if you have like a dog kennel or a cat litter box or something, you can throw it under there. You got more drawers under the TV. They're all on rollers, which is super nice. I mean, this is just a super, super cool floor plan. Comfortable seating. Again, the TV's right there. Good lighting coming into it. You know, what more could you ask for? You can tow this again behind most vehicles and it's gonna give you a tremendous amount of flexibility. And for a small family or a family of four or a couple, you know, this is just about perfect, I think. Anyways, guys, I'd love to know your feedback. Please leave a comment below. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.